Well, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, <laughs> I need to first start by really saying I am so sorry to my friend Cade. Uh, Cade and Roxy, my friends, got married. And me being me, the way I am in my head all the time, just doing what I do, Sometimes I get lost and I get distracted and time just, I have always sucked at time. I am the worst person when it comes to time. I, if, <laughs> I've always been told I'll be late to my own funeral, which that probably is not a bad thing really. I'm not looking forward to that day. But in general, I just suck at time. I get lost. I don't know what day it is half of the time. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is. Time flies, it just seems to be speeding up day after day. And I, today, made the biggest mistake in a long time. Because I have done this before, but I did not want to do it this time. And I thought for sure I had it all worked out and that I would be able to finally get it right. But I suck. <laughs> And I missed my friend's wedding today, which I am so sorry to you, Cade and Roxy. If you happen to watch this video, I am so sorry. And I hope that your special day was really beautiful and you guys deserve each other. You are awesome together and I am so happy for the both of you. If you guys don't know, Cade and Roxy, you guys right now, let me tell you, these, these two, if there was ever two people that were meant to be with each other, it's these two. And it is really refreshing to see two people who really love each other defy the odds and stay together for so long and now tie the knot. This day and time is beautiful to see a relationship that actually succeeds and actually makes it to that next level of marriage. And these two, I think they're going to be together forever. They have that thing that we all look for. But they have it. And so to you guys, I say congratulations. The rest of your life together. I. I know it's going to be beautiful, I know it's going to be magical, and I am so sorry. I feel like the biggest buffoon on the planet. I have no words. <laughs> but if it helps you, if it, if it makes you feel a little bit better, I have missed a lot of big events in my life, uh, including my own mom's funeral. That wasn't technically my fault. I didn't find out until after the fact. But still, you would think I wouldn't have missed that day. I missed my brother's graduation from high school. You would think I wouldn't have missed that, but yeah, I did miss that as well. Um, I missed a lot of things. I probably won't list them all here. And there's been other friends who've gotten married that I've, I've probably missed their weddings too. Uh, one in particular I'm thinking of right now. Um, I don't know if he even watches my videos, but um, I'm sure I apologized at the time. Anyways, I oh, I just wanted to. That's what we do. We're vloggers. We vlog our stuff, and and I wonder if anyone else has has this happened to you where you you've missed something huge and you you wanted to be there, but for whatever reason, whether it was just you totally just zonked out and forgot, or you had 
double bookings or you were really, really far away and didn't find out until it was too late, it already happened. Has there been important moments that you've missed and, and it just really made you sad and it broke your heart? Has that happened to you? Because it is a horrible feeling. It was a horrible feeling um, each time and it never gets easier. So I kind of just wanted to, I don't even know exactly, but I just really wanted to say to you guys, don't miss out on the important events in your life. If it happens, it sucks. <laughs> and you feel like a real a-hole. And I've had this happen too many times now. And I really, I just think maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just, I'm broken. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm just, I get so caught up in the moment. And I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I think, I, I think that's what it is. I'm just always so caught up in the moment that I get lost along the way with, with time and everything that's going on. And um, I'm not trying to make any excuses. I suck, I know, and I, I should have made reminders and things and did better to remember. It's happened, I hope you guys forgive me, and, um, and I, I hope you guys have many years of love and happiness, and yeah, I didn't know why I vlogged this, I just felt I should, and maybe this would be relatable to one of you guys out there who've been in a similar situation. I, just, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? If you've been in a situation, if it's happened to you, if you want to share your story in the comments below, feel free to. Let's talk about it. Uh, I'll reply back to everybody. Um, otherwise, um, Kate and Kate and um, Roxy, um, if you guys want to PM me <laughs> um, or call me when you get back, I do have a wedding gift for you. Um, let me know. I will meet you anywhere, and I will make this up to you guys somehow. I don't know how yet. But you let me know. I'm at your mercy. Um, yeah. So, guys, this is not the vlog. I I have many vlogs I shot, and I have some already for today. And this was not the one. I fast forward. It's to the front of the list. It's skip skip the, the queue of everything going on, and I just stop to make this and say, I love you guys. Kate and Roxy, you're beautiful people, and you're genuine people, and you deserve each other, and you deserve lots of years of happiness, and also to uh, all of you guys out there who happen to be watching this vlog, yeah, just don't miss important moments, because you will feel, yeah, you feel really crappy, <laughs> it feels, it's not a good feeling. Um, do your best not to miss these moments. Sometimes it happens. I mean, it just sometimes happens. But, um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this vlog, so I'm going to end it. Um, much love to you guys. Much love to you, Kate and Roxy. Much love to everybody. And, um, 